All right, um, start off with these lights here. Um, just wanna, I guess, uh, keep a video tab of, I guess, what's wrong. I said I will, and I'm not afraid to. This is like my first, I guess, uh, nah. This is my first fault that's gonna involve some kind of surgery, but it ain't no big deal. Um, the three amigos over here, um, the ABS, uh, well, the ABS controller is starting to starting to go out. Um, well, it's not going out. It's just the computer on the. It's the computer. Like some pins are probably loose or something due to heat, and it's very hot underneath the engine bay. So <laughs> it is what it is. But as many people may cry. It is expensive to replace the unit. I think the whole unit by itself is like 2,000 bucks. I ain't paying that, of course. Um, to rebuild it and just uh, send it off and get somebody to resolder the pins and uh, test it out is only 160 bucks, which that's the route I'm going. Um, pretty much, uh, don't let these lights scare you. Like, you can still the suspension even though it says fault it's fine it's just the suspension works based off the brakes so like it's still levels and all that it just goes into a mode to where it just goes into a mode where hey it's dependent on speed and it takes out the braking so that's all um yeah so it's basically just removing your abs controller and well abs controller pump unit is all one unit and then you take the computer part off of it but uh, most of the time you'll send them send the whole thing in um they rebuild these things for bmws and all that so it ain't just a volkswagen problem the motor bmws have the problem too so it's just bosch and crappy i guess crappy engineering i guess but um yeah, uh, so yeah, I can still adjust my suspension. Let's see here. Um, hit this, and I can still do this. And the vehicle still raises. Uh, you really can't see it, but it's going up in the back right now. Oh, yeah. Oops. Sorry. And any day now. Yeah, this ain't uh air ride like it is on these at the market things. It's going, it's going, it's going, bam, there it is. Highest <laughs> level reached. Okay, and then uh the lower back down. Press the button down here, press this button, and then turn the knob. We and the vehicle lowers. And it's going down rather quickly. I get this sensation, so. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Oh, and I can still adjust the, the dampers too, so I got on comfort. It's default, and turn it all the way for sport. I'm gonna leave it on comfort, and yeah, it adjusts just fine. So I say, don't be too afraid of this. I think the, I think what what for me, I think I'm pay extra for labor because. Uh, yeah, for one, I'm not good with bleeding brakes and all that, and I wouldn't want to screw anything up, even though it's simple. Uh, some things I'm just not good at, and I'm going to let the professionals handle that. And then two, I'm going to try to take care of some more. I think I have a vacuum leak somewhere, so I'm going to try to get that taken care of too. So, so pretty much, mm, 
this comes with age. I'm gonna call this age related. Yeah, so. Just another documenting of something. But this is a something that, hey, it's all it's based on Bosch. It ain't really, yeah, most of these German car, older German cars had the problem. Even, uh, I think Lexus even has this problem with the LS, uh, with the LS 460 model. So, ain't nothing to cry about. So, all right.